Dr. Drew, phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew, board-certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Uh, Leanne tweeting us uh, here tonight. I felt like I was missing something at the very top of the show. Leanne, uh, dear, dear friend, Leanne hasn't been on the show in uh, over a year, we find now. No, I was at the uh, old studio. Find out. The beautiful, beautiful old Westwood, too. Please, this place someone, is much better. Please, someone torch that place. <laughs> Torch it for a million reasons, <laughs> all of all of which uh, are righteous ones. Please torch that dump. We're here at uh, fabulous uh, K Rock, just uh, down the street. Leanne is uh, on the uh, cover and in the uh, body of uh, speaking of body <laughs> FHM uh, magazine. I took a good perusing of it. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, you did. Well, it's before you office. got here. Uh. You know, one of the nice things about having a job. There's uh, there's uh, actually, especially, you know, over at Jimmy's or the Mansion or whatever, it's always just uh, knee-deep in uh, FHM and uh, load you and all these. You have to do your uh, research, right? Load. Yeah. Well, Come not on. pornography, but, you know, well, we do get the pornography, too. We get the penthouse <laughs> and we get the... Uh, Hustler. Hustler <laughs> and, and, like, uh, play, Playboy and all, all, the, all the good stuff. Penthouse, thank God, has uh, toned down the urinating on the folks. Uh, <laughs> no, but don't they was, show men and women now? They, they didn't do before, I think, and somebody told me that recently. I'm like, can they get away with that? They, they do. Yeah. It's funny, too. It's funny when Penthouse comes out with the big uh, gala Christmas issue, and it's like you, you flip the thing open, the guy's taking a dump on it. <laughs> it's like, wow. That's gross. That's, uh, that's a Christmas issue. <laughs> wow. I like to see the 4th of July. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Deck the halls. Yeah. <laughs> Leanne uh, also uh, can be found on the uh, Best Damn uh, Sports Show, period. But wait a minute. Wasn't I on that a uh, few weeks back? We didn't see each other, did we? No, no. I'm I'm always traveling and on the road doing some sort of story or event or interviewing athletes or whatever it is that I'm doing. No, oh, so uh, ships. They probably kept me away from you anyways because uh, you were a little bitter last time I beat you uh, when you were on the show. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Leanne is uh, <laughs> a bit of a tomboy and very competitive. And uh, a couple things. Uh, last last uh, Super Bowl, we all raced in this uh, celebrity go-kart right. Cadillac mm -hmm. race. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I think there was 16 people. Maybe there was 14. Yeah, I don't there, remember there how many people. There might have been 16, people. yeah. There, there might have been 16. Uh, Leanne had won it the previous year. Yeah. The previous year. I did, But yes. is there, I'm, not, I'm not missing anything. No, no, it, you're right. That was the inaugural one the first year. That was the, the first year, year was, yes. uh, okay. So this was the second one this past year. Uh, Leanne couldn't have been more full of herself before the race started, <laughs> by the way. Just uh, <laughs> shouting to the world, anyone who would listen, that she was going to mop up with the boys. And by the way, the second... Posing one, down. Second, ooh, ooh. Second exactly, biggest with mouth, my custom painted helmet. Pa oh, oh, yeah, that's the other one, yeah. <laughs> $700 helmet, the Dale Earnhardt's helmet she stole from the museum. No, it was yes. painted by my friend Airtrix. Chris Wood. And the point is, is uh, the second biggest mouth on the on the lot was uh, Pat O'Brien. Oh, oh, by the way, nobody loves himself more than Pat O'Brien. I don't know how much. <laughs> you think? I don't know how that guy. I, 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 I see Pat O'Brien when he's not standing in front of a mirror, just talking with a trash can on his head so he can hear his own voice. <laughs> just putting a metal trash can. Hi, it's Pat O'Brien. Brian, Brian, Brian. Hi, hi, hi. Pat O'Brien. Brian, 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 Brian. Tom Cruise. I, 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 What's Cruise. up with Brittany? What's up with Brittany? I, I, Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Uh. Yeah, he was announcing that he was going to uh, win the thing, although... I don't know what that was based on because uh, he wasn't turning any kind of laughs no, at all. No, you and Jimmy were actually pretty competitive. Jimmy Kimmel. No, Kimmel. No, no Jimmy. Way. Jimmy's well, a did, horrible did, did, Jimmy, Kimmel. Didn't, Kimmel you like not, didn't you knock him into the hay bales? That and almost took out right. Paris Hilton standing on the on the. That sounds no, about right. Yeah, that was him. Oh well, Jimmy. Or got, that might have been you. <laughs> Jimmy got eliminated uh, almost Early. almost immediately. I think the, probably uh, semi intentionally. He doesn't drive. No, he he tries to drive. No, he tried. Somebody Just, knocked him into the hay bales and almost took Paris Hilton out for uh, real. It, it was kind of it was quite funny. It would have it would have been awesome. Is she by the way? Um, was the flag person oh, I see. who was very confusing because when she got bored would sort of just, <laughs> just wave it's about, about with the flag and as you were driving by or you weren't <laughs> sure confused. if it was the last laugh or what, <laughs> what come was by going and it was on. still waving what yeah so yeah. Uh, uh, I 
I, I won my first uh, three heats, and Leanne won her uh, first mm -hmm. three heats, mm -hmm. I think it was. And, of course, uh, we squared off in the finals with just the... Two other people. No, two oh. other people, but they weren't the... I don't even remember who they were. They now. weren't the uh, fast ones. But, but uh, the caliber of you guys. No. No. He and, did. Uh, he led me for probably the first yeah, five well, out of the eight I'm, laps, I think. I'm going to disappoint you in a second by telling you <laughs> the reason... Now, you're probably wondering why, when we're going down the straightaway, you're bumping the back of my car. Why is it you're bumping the back of my car? Because you're going too slow. Am I not? Am I not? I have my, my right foot is not planted firmly on the well, first accelerator. Of all, first of all, yes. that means I'm faster. That's Second right. of all, that means right. you know I'm here and why I'm going to get by you. Why do you think you're faster? Because I'm probably lighter. That's right. That's but I'm also a better driver than but you. But in are. a straightaway? No, but what did I what did I do? How did I pass you? Well, you went inside, you you nudged I me and, and, ran. and you went around. Went around. It's called the bump then and run. You, if you, ever me, you, weren't, you weren't curious why <laughs> you just went by and you, I, I couldn't you just ended up going 100 feet ahead of me 10 seconds after you passed me. Here's he the situation. I know it's every driver is a terrible please, driver. Please, here's here's what here's how it works. Those cars have like 9 horsepower. No, actually, they're pretty powerful, those ones that they put out for us. Those right. aren't just like little fun carts. I mean, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, I guarantee you don't have more than 20 horsepower. <laughs> but they're, 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 they perform differently, one from another. No, I mean, they're, 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 exactly they're all pretty same. even. They're all pretty even. Yeah. I weigh 70 pounds more than you do. If yeah. you took a 70-pound sack of cement and put it in your car, I would whoop your ass. Aha! Let's go put a 70 sound pack, you would pack never, of flour in my car. You would never do that. I'll do that. I'll make you that bet. You want to do that? We're, are you going to be at Super Bowl again this year? I'm uh, sure it'll be there again. Probably won't be asked. Oh, do you, will you take Where is it this year? the Ace Flower Fire. Sack Challenge? We take the uh, the cement sack challenge. Yeah, will absolutely. you? Absolutely. 50 pounds. I'll give you 50. What do you weigh? Uh, 125, 128. 80 maybe? pounds. Uh-oh. Because oh, I'm, oh, I'm 200. And I had a lot of beer in me from the <laughs> night before. I had a lot of like, oh, you bile a before and you <laughs> I, I was up all night boozing. Thank God it doesn't affect my reflex. All right, so he's still uh, a sore loser. No, I am. Well, sore. You're the world's worst winner. What? She was screaming about the whole thing. And by the way, the rest of the jackasses at the thing were like, "She beat you, dude." I'm like, "She beat me. I beat all you guys. That's <laughs> why she beat me." Everybody, T.O., Terrell Owens, Nick Lachey, Pat O'Brien. I mean, oh, everyone. Pat O'Brien's making fun of me when he got knocked <laughs> Jamie out. Jamie Foxx. I just saw Jamie Foxx last week at the American Music Awards. He's like, man, girl, you kicked my butt. All right, I'm telling yeah. you, it's the weight. I'm telling Whatever. you, that's the only difference. You can't difference. admit that a woman can be better than you at something where, no, where it's could. not necessarily like strength issues or, oh, okay, maybe you got 50 no, pounds I, of me, but you can't I, say that I'm a better I, driver. I could. You you're admit you, that, you're a good you? driver. I'm not going to say you're not a good. I grew up in a go-kart good... racing in a racing family. That's all why right. I'm all right. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You are a good driver. But when I'm going down the straight and you're bumping into the back of me, that's because it's your tactic. car is 75 tactic. pounds lighter. Tactic. All right. You knew I was there, and it was bugging the crap out of you because you knew I was going no, by you. No, you're second. supposed to bump me. I'm that way. I'm like, well, you're you're ten miles an hour faster, and I am in the straightaway. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but I couldn't just pass you because you were hogging the whole middle of the track. That's all I could do because I knew your car was or you were faster because of the weight thing. That's all. So I'm what saying. she's saying is, if you'd been a skill driver, you would have found a way to prevent her. Now from you passing. couldn't do it. She just wedged in. She was ten times bump faster. Bump and run. You just kind of bump him, or he kind of goes And by the way, I, I will make this prediction too. You will never be beat until you find someone like you're racing guys that are like two, you know, these athletes and jocks. Some of these guys yeah, are two hundred pounds. Yeah, well, a couple of girls, like that one model girl, that beautiful girl. She just, you know, she couldn't drive. She was bad. No, that's my that's right. my point. You're going to have to find to get in the car and she you're going to find anything. a midget or a chick <laughs> a chick racer. You, right. Because as you're long, right. If you're, you're right. If you're seriously, I know it's an excuse, but if you're 50 <laughs> pounds different than the next person, even if your skill level's even close to the same, mm -hmm. you're going to win. And you're a good driver. Okay. I'm not taking anything away from my land, but cocky. Oh boy, <laughs> cocky. Victoria. Yes. You're 21. Yes. What's up? Um, I have a problem with cheating in my relationships, and I want to know if that has something to do with the fact that I've been raped, and I want to know how to fix it so that I don't keep doing it. Well, let me ask you this. How do you feel about men generally? Um, I used to hate men until Stop I Stop right my there. Boyfriend. Stop right there. I used to uh, hate them. I, I could feel the hatred coming through. I, that's what I was thinking. She yeah. hates men. She mm -hmm. hates men. What happened? Who raped you? It was my husband's brother. Oh, oh God. Well, who yeah. raped you when you were a kid? Yeah. Um, nobody. I uh, come on. I haven't had any problems when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I was Physical abuse? Mm-mm. 
I had a lot of mental abuse, like a lot of neglect when I was younger. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, so your husband's brother, and are you divorced now? Yes. How did your husband take it? Um, not the best, but n I mean, he didn't take been... the side of his brother, did he? Oh hell no. Okay. No, um, he he didn't do too much about it, but he was on my side about it. Well, here's what women do when oh. they hate men: they start uh, becoming sort of. Um, sexualized and trying to attract men and then hating them for being attracted to them. Sort mm -hmm. of creating webs and dragging them into it like and then hating them, for, hating them for playing along with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that stuff you do? Um, I have. Yeah. I have. Yeah. I, I did that a lot with my husband. Um, I did not do that with my girlfriend, however. Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, I did cheat on my girlfriend, no. And All right. Well, look, it, 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 it shouldn't even call cheating with you anymore. It's just, it's, it's, just, just, it's like when a dog gets loose at the park and just yeah, starts yeah. humping another dog yeah. and sniffing something. <laughs> Is that cheating? I don't know. Uh, look, it, it's, it's a mess. Do you have any kids? I have two children. Oh, uh, my God. How old are you? You're 21? Yes. What are you, are you a stripper uh, or something? What? Are you a stripper? No. Are you a Mormon? Okay. Did you do anything no. like that? Place. No. No. Uh, look, she's she's a great mother. How dare you, uh, Victoria? First off, no more kids for the love of Christ. What are you doing? <laughs> I know that. No more children. I know, and uh, I know. Beside all the cheating, true. everything, you're the world's greatest mom. And the multiple dads. And uh, the kids don't know. Multiple dads or just the one dad? Oh, it's just the one father. <laughs> <laughs> Refreshing. And where is the uh, the guy you're divorced from? Is he going to be a part of the child's life? Um, he has custody of both the children right now. Uh huh. Ooh. That is a bad sign. That is a bad sign. So what, what, what else Drugs? do you want to tell us? Yeah. What was that? What do you want to tell us about why custody was taken away from you? Um, it wasn't taken away. It was given up because I tried to commit suicide. All right. And I didn't feel that I was the best to be raising my children if <clears throat> I had had those tendencies. And, and it's interesting how you've created the cycle of neglect. Yeah. Your mom was yeah. out of your life. Your kid's okay. mom's out of their life. How, how about some uh, therapy and whatever you're doing, it just it, take your vagina, put a bucket of ice water, <laughs> and just some relax. Pull it Stay down. off it for Asphalt. a year. Just rehab. Asphalt. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pave it over. Would you please? <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, can you just stop it? You, Victoria, do you see how, how huge these problems are well beyond the cheating issues? You can't yeah. have a stable relationship. You've been abused, neglected. You have profound personality issues. You can't. You've given up your children. This just you know, every life mm, parameter is is uh, is stressed or falling apart. Yeah. This is really serious stuff, and you got to take care of yourself. All right. All right. Please. So no, no more work, kids. No Easier with the relationships. The relationships. Just to focus on like some school or some work. And, and, and by the way, we, we do a lot of excusing people in this culture. It's like, <laughs> well, you know, she just right now she's not working, but right. and right now she can't quite handle having a boyfriend, and, and right now she had to give up her kids. No, no, no. If you can't have a stable relationship, you can't handle a job. That suggests profound psychological problems. Profound. Which means get help. Get help. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and look, here's our thing. Do whatever you want. Just don't crap out the kids. Yeah. yeah. Because then They're it becomes... They're the ones who suffer. They suffer, and then we suffer because right. we have to take care of the kids, and they In become society. the sure. future drug addicts and uh, the prison population and the unemployed and the homeless, and it's all these kids. How dare you? The homeless are just people that are just out of luck with the job. Yeah, I How know. Dare I, I, How dare you, Adam? What, what are you talking what about? What goes on in this country that the homeless are considered, well, the guy, he, he had a great job. He's worked for a defense contractor, had two kids, blah, 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 blah. He got laid off. When, oh, my, yeah, Michael Moore would uh, like you to believe <laughs> yeah. that he got a pink slip, and then all of a sudden he's living in his car and slamming horse, right? Yeah, right. Please. Yeah. That's not the way it works. I, 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 I've yet to find a homeless guy that's just the uh, 33 years uh, defense contractor working over at Lockheed got uh, canned, and now he has to eat out of a garbage can. And by the way, by the way you come across yeah. that guy, that guy needs an MRI because he's got a brain tumor. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, my friend, uh, his dad actually pulled up to a curb once, and a guy was standing there asking for money or, you know, saying, I need a job. And his dad, my friend's dad, uh, gave his work card and he said hey call us i know we need help down at our site and you know we can get you a paying job with benefits and stuff and the guy goes how much does it pay he goes about 17 50 18 bucks an wow. hour which is a great job for any normal american you know wow. that's, you're living on the street and the guy threw the card back in his window he goes i make more money on the street yeah. he goes i'm not going to go work yeah, yeah. can right you believe here. i mean that well that, that's the kind of attitude you're going to deal with with a lot of them so that just kind of ruins it for the people you do feel sorry for that might have mental problems or something different than those people that are just abusing 
the mm -hmm. nice, you know, yeah. the nice well, people out there. Let's just uh, call it what it is. It's, it's there's mental illness and drug abuse, pretty much. That's, pretty much. That's, that's I mean, you've seen the guy that system. holds up the sign and go, "Let's face it, I want a beer." You know, <laughs> yeah. like let's be honest, I just want that, money for a beer. That guy's getting money. Yeah, of course he does. Because <laughs> I mean, you know, at least you know he's not lying right. to you. <laughs> you know, be uh, you know, be a nice, a nice little. Uh, Nice little uh, cottage industry, nice little side business for me. I'm clever. I could come up with clever Science, signs, yes. professionally done up. For the homeless. For the homeless, but here's the thing. I'm in for a taste. And the proceeds go to homeless organizations. No, 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 no. You didn't hear that. <laughs> well, a taste of what they collect. I'm I in see. for a taste. It's like, look, right now you got that uh, veteran need help. What's that, what's that draw you, about 16 bucks a month? That's nothing. All right, I got one here. It's uh, show us your, your tease. <laughs> I, I, now, it sounds controversial, but the guys are going to get a laugh and probably stuff 10 bucks in there. Now, I'm giving you this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a guy around at the end of the week. Every so Friday, writer, writer's fee. we're going to need a little taste. Yeah, yeah I'm like an agent. I, yeah. ten, I'm going to need 10% of what you bring in. Shake it down. It's all right. Pimp daddy. Yeah, that's good. You get enough of those guys spread out around Southern Cal? You're doing okay. John, until I find out one of my collection guys is skimming. Yeah. Then I got to get one of my enforcer guys right. to shake the guy up. But then he's skimming that guy that's skimming he you. He skims that guy. I know. He starts his right. own company. Oh, there he you go. He starts his <laughs> own. And before you know, we got a turf war. Because I said I got to people are getting killed and shot. What I got, you do? I got the off-ramp off the 10. He's moving his <laughs> men in there. Just get rid of the guy selling the oranges. Then I get syphilis and die in prison. <laughs> And the woman trying to sell her bucket of roses. Yeah. Oh, we'll muscle her right off. Hey, Juanita. <laughs> yeah, take a hike. Hate to, hate to see something happen to that nice five-gallon bucket of yours, and then the guy goes nuts on it with a bat. Speaking of Juanita. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, break mm -hmm. in Leanne to a little Ranchero countdown. Ace's uh, Mexican Ranchero accordion countdown. What do you think? This oh, is a huge game. All right. Well, uh, Leanne, as you know, very competitive. Yeah, so I figured she'd like this. Yeah, she's going to like this. As you know, Leanne, uh, Ranchero music. She can't huge. stand losing. The possibility of losing is already driving her insane. Huge it is, here. I don't know what I'm up against. Well, huge here. Well, I don't have the weight disadvantage on this <laughs> one, sister, so look out. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, big out here in Southern California, the, uh, the uh, Ranchero music uh, accordion is uh, really uh, the cornerstone of all good uh, Ranchero music. All Ranchero music. <laughs> Yeah, good or otherwise. Good or otherwise. And then the anyway. term good, come yeah, on. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, relative. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like getting a good beating. Yeah. It, I don't know how good it is. Yeah. The point is, is uh, we play a random ranchero song. It starts uh, somewhere in the middle of the song. We don't know the song. We don't know when it starts. It's how long does it take before we hear an accordion. Drew. First bet. Why don't you get things started? <laughs> Three seconds. Three seconds, uh, Drew says. Now, we don't know anything that uh, you don't know, although we are familiar with the uh, right. genre of music. We don't know this song. So, uh, Leanne, what is it? Do you have an idea? Four. Four seconds. Okay. Bold. Uh, now, we can either, I can either go immediate or I can go high. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going high. All right. I'm going six. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Three, four, and six. Takes a big man. A lot of guys, lesser man would have gone five uh, seconds. Not me. I add a whole second. I would have gone two. I'd go with six. All right, now, uh, Engineer Chris, who uh, looks like uh, he's uh, <laughs> looks like he's a raccoon Adam. that scurried onto the road and an 18-wheeler is coming at him. I'm getting it ready. Huh? You're cool about it? All right. You're getting it ready? Drew? Are you ready? Getting it ready is one thing. Are you ready? He's not Don't ready. Play. He's Are got the getting, stopwatch. He's getting it ready. It's, we're watching. We got the watch here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Chris, let me, uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you that this may come up again and possibly in tomorrow night's <laughs> show as well, I know. It's been Just 35 be straight shows now, so I'm just saying, you may want to have it poised. <laughs> All right, buddy? That's the beauty of Love Line, really. Right? Right there. All right, so I'll give you the countdown so we uh, Five, land on a zero. Four, yeah. three, two, one. Go. Uh, oh, yeah. Two. Yeah. I, wait. Well... Is that an accordion? No. It sounds like well, a flute no, that, or a recorder. It, it, it's rhythm accordion. Oh, you're right. Yeah. we got to hear that. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's, too, that's too complex. We might have to rewind that. That's like, that's, Send it back it's to It's like something out of uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs or something. What is this? This is like Swiss music. No, no. I like this the is, tuba, this too. Is, the tuba's a good little this touch. Is, this is ranchero music, Drew. Wow. Ranchero music ranges from A to, like, B, but not quite C. Like, but it has a range. Whatever that space is between A and B, there's a little, there's a little gap in there. Oh. That's the full sound mix. Yeah. It goes from mariachi to, uh, 
What? This is Ranchero oh, music, Drew. What are you yeah, right? What yeah, you've right. been listening? What do you think this is? This is a weird one with the whistles and the well, it's a quarter. It's a, it's a the... colorful one, but it's not any. Uh, any are you annoyed by it? Hold on a second. It's random. The tuba is great. Tuba. Yeah. I mean, you normally hear a tuba. Yeah. Yeah. Drew. <laughs> what? This is Ranchero. Yeah, I know music. it is. I just it's just a very unusual no, no, hold on. Here's the uh, Do you want to kill yourself? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Then it's Ranchero. But normally music. you hear just loud, ranging, you know, accordion uh, arpeggios. That's why you play the game. Yeah, but this was accordion beat, ba it, it bass play. It, it sounded like it was rhythm accordion. Yeah. It was. All right. On the opposite beat. Now, do you want to try it? Do you want to try it again? You want to try yeah, another Yeah, because we song? all lost. We were all yeah. over. No, I, mean, well, I couldn't, we couldn't hear when it began. I couldn't it, tell. I'll, I'll get another track. I'll yes, thank you. Okay. Something more Mexican. He has no <laughs> idea what he's playing, by the way. I know. I know. That's the way the game is played. He can't know, or you could get to him. You're right. I don't want exactly. you to be able to get to him. All right, I'm voting. I'm going instant this time. <clears throat> oh, you're going instant? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you're changing. Yeah. I'll All do right. two. Oh, oh. Well, you can change. Well, I'm going to have to change this now. Okay, you're going two. I'm staying at six. All right. Oof. That's how I am. All right. You ready, Chris? Long intro. Yeah. Chris, you got to yeah, say, ready. yeah. Okay, <laughs> say no if you're not ready. Okay, buddy. I'm working. All right, all right. You're, you're working. <laughs> that's the funniest thing you've ever said on the show, Chris. That's a good one, buddy. Yeah, that's going to be on the best of. All right, Chris is working. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, immediate. It was immediate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is for Cheryl. Oh, immediate. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. This is more like All right, like all right. Drew won that. Drew won that round, but don't worry, Leanne and I will be back. Can't uh, can't can't put out that competitive fire. Go cards, ranchero music yeah, later has, on. She likes retribution too. She's coming back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah no, With she's, a vengeance. She's gonna make you pay. <laughs> Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight on the cover of uh, FHM uh, magazine and uh, in well, probably at least eight nine pages uh, inside, looking very glad. And a ranchero fan. We'll uh, take us a quick break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Line of Adam, that's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Dr. Drew, board blah, 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 blah. Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight. Leanne is uh, gracing the cover of uh, this month's or next month's, but on the newsstands now. I'm assuming it's on the newsstands. I have one it at is work. On the yeah. uh, FHM looking uh, very sultry, <laughs> about to undo her bra. <laughs> uh, and, uh, or putting it back on. It's all mm. how you look at it. It's very, uh, very interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure Adam can look at it that way. But also, here's a way for you to look at it. <clears throat> Putting it back on more lurid than actually taking it off because mm. it means something went on about 10 minutes ago before they loaded the film in Good the camera. Well you know done. what I'm saying? Just getting dressed. Yeah. yeah. You're in uh, what we call the refractory period here. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope you're taking it off, sweetness. <laughs> uh, she is uh, all over this thing, but a, a very nice, uh, sexy, tasteful, but uh, sexy. Nah, not even that tasteful. Just a sultry. Hey. Well, I don't mean that in a bad it way. Is. But it's it, very it's, sexy. Uh, it is very sexy. It though. is. Probably it one is. of the, the sexiest ones I've done for them yet. Yes, it is uh, It is sexy. <clears throat> very sexy. So, uh, you found you, it yet? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. There it is. It, uh, I got that there. A little, uh, little butt crack there looking good. Get a little cheekaroo <laughs> over there. <laughs> Got that move. That's my move, by the way. Hold on. That's true. You know that's my move. Where I do that thing where I sort of stand at a forty-five, not at a ninety, but at a forty-five to like when you're like when you're in the door, like when we travel. Yeah. And I do that thing where I just hook my thumb over the, the side of my briefs and Your pull it down out. just to show yeah. Yeah. just show a little hip skin. Oh yeah. I've seen you do that. That is, is that, my move. You, I wonder what you meant by that, but I've seen you do it. Well, whatever. Well, don't worry about what it means. Just worry about who originated it. <laughs> I, you're right. I got now, it from you. Now, as long as the photographer said, let's do a Corolla, I'm cool. I popped that. right into the pose. I knew exactly you what he was it talking is? about. All right. Drew, uh, Drew has uh, a couple poses named after himself as well. All right. So what is good? Nine, uh, eight, nine uh, pictures. Very sexy. Going to, uh, are you going to Iraq, did you say, during I the break? I am. I'm going again before Christmas. I leave, actually. On the, uh, we're leaving on the 12th. Mm. Um, Robin Williams, we're going to go again for, wow. for Christmas with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Whoa. General Myers. Yeah, so one of the our actually highest up ranking military official in, in the cabinet. you have to be in his place? <laughs> Don't you want to be in somebody else? We play? flew in Air Force Two last year and went over there, which was kind of neat, you wow. know, and um, mm -hmm. it was sort of, you know, a lot of 
fighting over there at the time we went. And, you know, every day, I know you asked me where I was going, but every day it's sort of a... Changes. It changes, and some places are a little more hotbeds of resistance, and we divert our plan from there to here, and then at the How last minute... How do you actually minute, get in? You fly into the spot? Fly, yeah. Like helicopters? Um, we actually were flying in C-130, so cargo mm. planes. But, uh, you know, there's different tactics to fly in about, you know, how to either come in spiraling down in a certain area where you're protected by a certain perimeter of our guys around a certain mileage, mm. you know, that mm -hmm. we know we're protected inside or you come in low and quiet and I'm like why low and quiet I just think that they're ready with the RPGs to shoot shoot us from the you know the underbelly of the plane but um, we did have to wear you know flak vests and yeah. Kevlar helmets and I you mean it's, sit it's on a, your helmet it's, when you're here yeah it's, and, a, it's the real deal and and uh, you're going down with, will you be traveling with Robin Williams yeah to, last year we, we, we all traveled together he's he's hilarious and and to see him in his First the three, troops. first four hours are hilarious when you're traveling. But, no, no, but you know, hour, actually, hour while he's 19, traveling, he's very jump, quiet. Want to jump out of the plane? No, oh, really? He's quiet? very kind. Oh, he's good. very. It's, oh, he's almost. He's very introvert, and, he, and he's kind of quiet on the plane. He's very humble, and then you know, people will start talking, and he'll hear, hear bits and pieces of conversations, and then he'll just pipe up about something, and mm -hmm. just sort of his mind. It must hurt his own head to be, you know, have his mind in his head because his brain works so fast, and he'll just you know, reel off a joke that turns into a five-minute story of a joke. You know, I, I just don't even know how his brain thinks that fast, but he's really funny, and the troops loved him. And, and and what do you do for the troops? I go out and talk. You know, my dad was in the Air Force, and I've been, this will be my sixth trip, and it'll wow. be my third into Iraq itself since the war started. Wow. I've been to Afghanistan. Um, I was in Afghanistan during Thanksgiving. True. What have you done? A couple of years ago. Uh, you ain't done nothing. Have you all ever gone over to visit be, the I, troops? I would love to do that. I think no. you're great. True, they don't need you over there. I know, that's the problem. They want to be bored. Uh, you, <laughs> they'll, stare, they'll stare at the desert. They would love to see you guys. Are you kidding me? I think um, my actually, I have no, friends I, in the I, Air Force that just flew some of the guys in the Sopranos, and he just sent me a picture like two days ago. They, it, he it, just flew them. I, I didn't want to say this in front of Drew, but I, I, my, I, had, a, I had some comedian buddies who went over there, and Drew Carey and Jeff Ross mm. went over there. And they, your Drew name, used to be a former Marine. Your, your, your name did come up, and, and they, like, they, no, said, well, they said Jeff was out on stage, so we're going to put it to a vote. Do you want Dr. Drew to come? out or would you rather just stare into the desert there it was close i'm not i'm not saying no it's good it was close fair it was close come on i said they would love to have anybody over there to visit that's what jeff assumed that's why he thought it was safe to ask a question but they did sort of come down and stare into the desert yeah adam would you can't blame him i would go i would go seriously i mean you say you would but then when it comes time to a lot of people don't have the balls to go and i hate to say that but it is a scary thing and some people just bail out hmm well, I don't, uh, I, I, I mean, are you all a... talk or, you know, can I pass your name over to the USO and they'll contact you and you'll She's be like, well, you I'm busy, I'm, uh, yeah, well, no, I'll know. go over there. I don't have any it's problem scary. with that. I, I don't, I don't know what they I, want me to do I, about it. I have to what? Talk to my wife about it. See if oh, she right, feels about right. It. Talk, right. talk to your wife about it? Be talked to, whatever. You act like there's an exchange. <laughs> like, like, I get her opinion. Prisoner going, uh, yeah, I got, yeah, I got caught. Talk to I got caught trying to escape. I'm going to talk to the warden about see how many days. No, no, you'll sit there and I'll give you 30 days in a hole. Well, that's maybe she'll go for work. You got another no, question, down. widow? Bring it up. Hurry up! You got to hurry up! That's what it's like. Right now, push, 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 you nasty thing! That's Drew's wife. Oh my God! Oh yes, it's both his wives. Well, it's a oh. I think I think it's a clear record. It's our buddies from that TV he's show. So hot. What I mean, was that TV so show hot. called? Yeah, it was called like Drill Sergeant yeah. or something. Boot, Boot camp. camp. Boot camp. All right. Mm. No, I have uh, I have no problem uh, going over there. Although, unlike uh, most uh, showbiz folks, I have a job, whether it's uh, Ryan Radio. and Kimmel or doing this show, that's actually like having a regular job, right. which I realize yeah. it's hard to have I, holes I, in I your, can't take your career. a week yeah. off and go do something, but if we plan it out right. in advance, I'll go. And let me tell you something. I may come back with a few kills, too. <laughs> I, I don't go over there and do a song and dance. i got to get in the field. You know Sniper what I mean? Corolla? Yeah. I might take a few people <laughs> down with me. Oh, and men, but, you know. John? Hello? John, 21. What's up, John? Uh -oh. You're John, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm All right. a big fan of you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. <coughs> uh, yeah, Usually means they're using a fake Dr. name. Drew. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's more for Dr. Drew since he's yeah, yeah. a doctor. Um, yeah, uh, Doc, I'm pretty young, I think, right? <laughs> so I think I have uh, erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. You're 21. Yeah, I'm 20, like recently turned 21, man. Like oh, well, that's different, because if you're like a 21 and 4 or 5 months, it's no yeah. big deal. Yeah, you got to get on the Viagra. But Adam's got a point. Adam's got a point. If you're Let's new 21... John, you want any medication? Can I talk to him? Just give me a headache. Yeah. Uh, John, you want any medication right now? No, no. Uh, no medicine? No, not at all. I, uh, like, let's say, I mean, I'll paint the scene. I'm 
hooking up with a girl. And no, no, uh, don't paint the scene for me. Let me ask some questions. All right, never mind. Yeah. I'm not uh, uh, do you have any medical problems? No. Have you ever had this problem before? Yeah, uh, for a few months, I'd say about a year ago. Okay. And you, no medical, medical problems, no drugs, and, no drugs and alcohol, no medication. Is that accurate? Oh, no, I, I do drink alcohol on occasion. Not excessively. Not heavily. No. Oh, All right. Well, hold on a second. You can't kill a 21-year-old boner with a, you know, keg of ever. No. I, and I smoke it's some true. weed, too. Yeah, no. How oh. often do you smoke weed? Yeah, mm. how often? Like, yeah, how often? Every, like, two weeks or something. No, All right, that no. probably wouldn't do it either. No. Uh, how about these situations where you're having sex? Are they yes, very anxiety-provoking? Yeah. yeah. Um, Nervous? I, I'm tr that's what I'm trying to think about. I, I don't know. Um, well, you, you we'll sound you sound yes. like you're wound tight. Yeah, you sound a little nervous. I mean, maybe you're nervous for Goodbye. being on the yeah. radio. Adam's What's that? Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. I'm putting him on hold for a second because he, he talks. It's squirrel. Yeah. We talk. He's, you know what he's like? He's like a, he's like one of those uh, novelty bass things that uh, yap <laughs> on the wall. Like you gotta, you got yeah. when you when or you, you hear, walk by and yeah, they start. You, you <laughs> hear a noise and they start. They, <laughs> You know that there's there's a horrible thing that happens to people, which is when they get nervous, they do the worst possible right. thing. Yes. Like the best thing you could do when you're nervous is to just reel it in, quiet down, and listen. Listen. Yeah. Let the expert do the talking. No one's no one's going to get you into trouble. You're not going to get into trouble that way. But your impulse is to uh, talk over, and then it, it you know it's on top of, and then you get more nervous. He's probably doing the same version of this in the sack. Right. He's anxious. That's right. He's yeah. anxious, and that works against male sexual, oh, male and female sexual functioning. He needs to find one woman and really sort of uh, own his craft. Yeah, go through all the compulsory stuff, learn the scales, start getting into the more experimental get stuff, and really get comfortable. Double right. axles, find, the sow cows. Find his, <laughs> find his uh, triple find lots. His group. Lots. Yeah, double lots. Hey, uh, John. Toe loops. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to find yourself, I agree with Drew, a, a sour cow, and really get busy. Nice big chick. You can really get busy on. She's not going to do any damage to. It's not going to leave you if you have a bad outing. You get hooked up with a hot chick like Leanne, you have a bad outing. She gives you the hook. You know, you know what I mean? She would be she's anxious like, that he could have like, that outing. She's like a manager, seventh, yeah. seventh inning of the World Series. You know, guy starts throwing a couple wild pitches up, up. Right mm -hmm. to the bullpen. But you get yourself a big gal who's got a crappy job. She'll hang with you for a while. Uh, Meanwhile, you get to work it out. What's that's that? The thing, man. Chicks, um, chicks are pretty understanding, actually. Like, this usually is not a problem, but, like, I had this problem, uh, like, for a few months about a year ago. And now it's kind of back. How did you get over it then? How I don't, I don't know. It just kind of happened. Maybe, like... Okay. Do you have a maybe girlfriend? Maybe I was more into the girl. Yeah, like, it was, it was, I was with this girl, and then I was... All right, well, nah, work on that again, John. Find a girl you're into and it work it out. It tough when life just happens to you, and everything is bewildering. You yeah, don't, you're, you don't, you're you like a native. Well, yeah. you, can go, you can go kill a goat or something and hopefully rid yourself of this uh, penis curse. Yeah. Give yeah, a burnt I, offering. I, That's I, an I, interesting I, analogy you just said, though. It's very... The goat? Thought-provoking. No, just uh, the how, how some people, how life just happens oh, yeah. to everybody, yeah. and they're just the victims, and, you know. Well, he's yeah, not even a victim. He's just sort of primitive man. He's just sort of can't... He, no, I can't he, figure it out. Can't me. figure out life. Yeah. Life well, just happens. Yeah. There's, there's two things. I think people get into two modes. They're both extremes, and neither one of them are correct, which is... People get sick and label themselves, label it food poisoning almost every time. Right. That's, the, that's the new one. And right. they'll do that thing where they go, I should, I, I had the, I had the lobster bisque. I should, I got the, I got the, there was a, so they become these doctors, except for it's sort of, they're, they're diagnosing, no you know, whatever. You got the flu, fine. Everybody has this, or they do that, like, I'm, there must have been some dairy in there. I don't, I, I will react. <laughs> there was a little chicken broth in there. That's what happened because I'm a vegetarian in my stomach. And then the problem is, is they got a bunch of idiots around them. That's why everyone hates me, by the way, at home, because I'm the one who's going, uh, I actually said the other day, you're lucky Dr. Drew's not here because uh, he'd not go for any of this nonsense you guys are talking about because it's that same conversation. Like, there must have been some chicken broth in the thing. Uh-huh. Uh, and everyone's just nodding. Well, no, if your stomach's not used to protein, you uh-huh, uh-huh. People, people. Uh, uh, must be the toxins. Eight, eight, eight of them yes together people, don't. Yeah. yeah. No, there's eight of them. They don't have a GED between the eight of them. Right. But they're actually their body. Uh, just their uh, body. Uh, and I'm oh, sitting there going, I think maybe just had the flu. Oh, okay. Now, now that so people are are in between either that mode or they're 
why is something bad happened to me? I'm not going to explore it at all. Either they're exploring it in this weird wrong direction, or it's just it just is. Yeah, it's, how, just how, it's just happening. Happening. Yeah, it's, like, mm -hmm. it's really that's where the concept. It's it's sort of a delusional process. Is that primitive man used to think that thoughts were delivered into their head, right? And things were delivered into their body. Things happened to them from the heavens, from the gods, right. whatever. Well, that's how a lot of our reasoning for a lot of things and yeah. you know human life have come down from back then when we didn't know any better. I mean, Forget about do. back then. Yes, no, that's what I'm saying. It hasn't changed. Much. Billy Graham just <laughs> filled the uh, Rose Bowl four days. for four days. <laughs> uh, I had to deal with that home. four days right by the Rose Bowl. Oh, well, at least they, they should be. Uh, look, they're, they're polite drivers, all right? I mean, it's... it's. Uh, you know, it was a strange crowd. They, they were all in the big mobile homes and stuff. No, I live, uh, I live right by the Rose okay. Bowl. Should have okay. and, and I was at a gas station. And I, I was asked by four people, you know, by themselves, single people, <clears throat> dressed like sort of Auntie M, mm -hmm. but, but 28 years old. Yeah, conservative. Uh, like... 28-year-old fat chicks wearing shawls and uh, wow. lace-up shoes, right? And they wanted to know, why. where's the Rose Bowl? How do I get there? Couldn't follow the signs. Right. And, and, they were, they were and when, you're, when you're within a 20-mile radius of the Pasadena Rose Bowl, it's everywhere. It's on every corner everywhere. and every sign yeah. and wow. every they arrow. They came off the freeway to go to <laughs> a gas station. Let me the defend Pasadena them by Rose saying Bowl. they follow signs, not yes. signs. Oh, you, you see what geez. I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah. they're, they're, they're so busy speaking to a higher power, and they have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ that uh, they couldn't possibly look at road signs uh, while they're driving. And... Uh, so they uh, they filled the Rose Bowl over by uh, Drew's house for uh, four, four straight days. Right? Four yeah. Well, he may not wow. be uh, he may not he may not be preaching too much longer. I think that's, that's pretty kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. All right. Uh, where are we, Drew? Phone call. Yeah. <clears throat> Got to take a break. Hasn't had a period in two years. Oof. I don't want to talk to that dude. <laughs> Who do we got over here? This guy. Come this girl. Mardell, what you do? Came uh, oh, dude, same day. Uh, started using a Nuva ring. Recently uh, began losing her wrenches now. Husband left her and took the kids to Utah. She's crushed. Right, hold on a second. Let me talk to uh, her for just a second. Corey, are you a Mormon? Yeah, um, used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's 100% on that. I should say Anderson well. is. Corey, uh, you're 24. Your husband left and uh, took the kids to Utah? Well, yeah. <laughs> he got out of the Army and decided he had to get back to Utah and left me in Virginia. Mm -hmm. did, did he kidnap the kids? No, he took them with him and just wouldn't listen to a single thing I had to say. Well, that's kind that's of kidnapping, kidnapping, right, Corey? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Why didn't you go after them? I did. I am in Utah now. And okay. you're living with, you're all together again? Yeah, we're all together again. <laughs> I'll be watching you. I'm still with him. All right. All right, well, it's so all let me, worked let me, out. Let me, let me think about this a little differently. Hold on. Your uh, husband moved to Utah. Yeah, he, everybody he moved the family to Utah. You, you drove in a separate car. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, he, he got out of the Army. And Hold on a second, Drew. Oh. During the break, I'm going to abandon you to flee to the bathroom. Yeah. Now, if you want to follow, it's your prerogative. <laughs> okay? How dare you? But I'm, I'm crushed. I'm going to the bathroom. But then you're going to flee back to the studio. And I, well, I always you. go to the bathroom, too, so I guess I'll be following. You just have to look. I look. I prefer to look at his fleeing instead of going. <laughs> Corey? Yeah? Okay, so now you guys are together. Uh-huh. And then the question is? And the question is, I divorce seems to be the easy way out and not the mm -hmm. best way for the kids. But we but on Wednesday we'll have been married for five years. Oh, and enough. right now I mean everything that could possibly be bad that has ha could happen has happened. Are you a Mormon? I was up until about the time I was finished. Right, he doesn't you, have you, other wives or whatever, does he? <laughs> no. No, no okay. multiple wives. All right, Fair hold enough. on a sec hold on a second, Corey. Uh, I don't know what the uh, whatever could possibly happen as bad as already happened. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I can right. promise you that. Drew, please quit asking if she's Mormon. Just not everyone who moves flees to Utah is Mormon. Anderson? I understand that, please. Anderson? Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight on the cover of FHM magazine. Also can be found on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. We'll take ourselves a, a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight. She's on the cover of FHM Magazine. Looking uh, fantabulous. 
she's the one who's either taking off her bra or putting on <laughs> her bra. And then the uh, headline the, the the left of Leanne's head. Should you dump her? Yeah. What is that? Well, look at, look at the top line. Yeah. Santa's bulging sack. <laughs> yeah. That's, does, I you know, magazines. I, I guess people get paid to write those little uh, headers. You does, know. Does anyone? Uh, does anyone read the magazine to figure out whether they should dump somebody or use uh, anything from the magazine? Women readers. Women readers? Yeah. Yeah, but they read this. I like this. the jokes. They yeah, they got some jokes good jokes. And they have, uh, they have some good advertisements in the back. Like they have a, uh, like a weird <laughs> sex wedge pillow thing i got to show you. Which is, that's a class move when you have a dedicated, you know, I, I'll do my humping on the couch or the, or the coffee table. When you have a dedicated piece of sex furniture. <laughs> You know, one of those rattan spinning chairs. Actually, or the weird... you call the 800 number for? Yeah. 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 I mean, you get sort of, it's a sort of star 80s thing where you actually uh, whip up your own sort of uh, gynecological stirrups and all that stuff. It's, it's super <laughs> extra creepy, by the way. And, uh, you know, once in a while you see the dog licking it or Ooh. some kid sits on it or something. It's a disaster. And you're cringing. Ooh. Yeah. Let, let me show you. Uh, let me show you the sex wedge. And by, by the way, like, like, there's no other way to, uh, you know, uh, like man has been looking for a way to nail a chick in a doggy position for millions of years. Is and that now, it? Thanks to this technological breakthrough known as a futon pillow, we can now enter from the behind, Drew. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh Look, my God! Here's Wait, the thing. I haven't even seen that. Only. What do you mean? That's you, isn't it? You're not posting hey. on that. All right. Leanne tweeted oh in gosh. here tonight. Yeah, look on page 86. You'll see her posing in the uh, Corolla position. It's the wow. prone position. All right, you ready, Drew? Here we go. You ready to rock? Let's finish with Corey. Yeah. Finish with Corey. Corey is a uh, 24 in Virginia. Moved to <clears throat> Utah. Uh, husband fled to Utah. Took the two kids. Now it looks like divorce. Why? Uh, what has he done to you? Has he cheated on you? Not that I am a hundred percent sure of. Is it was just... he in the war? No, he. The reason he didn't reenlist is because he was guaranteed to go to Iraq, and so he got. <laughs> right. Is it just that you really didn't want to leave, and he insisted on leaving, and that's the source of conflict in your relationship? Well, I had six weeks left of school. I had mm -hmm. in Virginia. Yeah, I had to. And you could did you finish it? Yeah, I stayed and finished. Good for you. I don't right. understand the problem. Right. Why are you so mad at him? Drew, please. Well, he left me out there with six weeks left. He couldn't stay with me for six weeks. I, He left me with an illegal car, no place to live, no money, and he took the kids. Mm -hmm. And he told me he was coming back to Utah to get a job and to get a place to live and so that everything would be set when I got here. Seven weeks later, when I finally got here, he still didn't have a job, and we just barely moved into a place. About All right, so how long have you been married to this guy? It'll be five years on Wednesday. Has he been an irresponsible a-hole most of his life? Um... Oh, well, has he been he, in the service since you've been married to him? No, we got married before he joined the Army. So he's never had a job? He, he's actually had a job. He he can maintain a job for a long time. He just <laughs> lazy oh, and getting oh, one. Hold on, he's how, in his mid twenties. How, how old is he? Yeah. He's he spent four years in the service. You guys have been married, not even married for five. That means he had one year civilian life before Where's he the enlisted. Where's the long term job he maintained? He he's well. The ar he maintained that he didn't get out of the army like all of his friends did. I, he, a lot of his friends were chaptered out for smoking weed and stuff, and so. Oh, um, oh by, by the way, you not being drummed out of the service yeah, isn't a, not a rich a job. history of employment. Oh my God, Corey! Yeah. Corey's and by the way, again, two kids. But the, Corey is another candidate for a burnt offering. Yes, and things are just happening to her, and she can't make sense of them. It doesn't. Isn't thinking him through. I mean, I understand. I'd feel a little bummed if Bewildered, my husband kind of left me, and sure, I had six sure. weeks left of school, and he leaves. He left her with nothing, no home. Absolutely. No, I mean, and the guy that's a little strange. Oh, and the guy doesn't get a job. This me. is all her version, by the way. I'm True. sure he's not a great guy, believe me. And I'm sure he doesn't have any money. And also, by the way, taking the kids probably the right thing to do, and not leaving you with the kids and no, and no home over and, the kids and having to go to school. Well, well, how did you? Who did you stay? Nice. Where did you stay during those six weeks? Well, I slept in the car for two nights, and then I found a girl through a friend at school who needed a roommate, and she was the nicest person I've ever met in my life. Are you Mormon? Right. 
Yeah, the roommate was. Yeah. Maybe a little, all right, maybe a little lesbian relationship. With <laughs> so you're from Utah and you went to Virginia to go to college? No, we went no. to Virginia because no, like, he joined the Army. You don't go to Virginia to go to junior Army. college. All right, listen, Corey, mm -hmm. what, uh, what has he done? Uh, you said he's done everything bad that he could do. He hasn't cheated. Does no, he, he hasn't you? done everything bad. It just, it, my whole world has collapsed. My Yeah, I know, but let, let's be honest. It wasn't much of a world. <laughs> I mean, you were living in Virginia in a crappy apartment going to junior college. It wasn't much yeah, of a he world. He was in the military. Now you're, he's out of the military. He's got to find a job. you got your kids. He's going to find a job. You're living in Utah. The air is fresh. Land is cheap. What's up? <laughs> well, the air's not quite so fresh. Land All right, but listen, so nut cheap, job. Can you do me a favor and stop cramping out the kids? Oh, please, Dad, Dad, please, one hundred percent. Please, Dad. how about please. trying to form a family? And, Try. and secondly, you, uh, we've been talking to you for what feels like uh, an hour and a half, and you've not said anything that the guy's done other than he's, he's not the world's most sensitive guy. But what's going on? Is he? Why do you got to get divorced? I don't understand. Are you a Mormon? It, no, <laughs> he he's got his umbilical cord tied around his neck. He's all right. Listen, just get divorced. Just get divorced. He's no, got don't get divorced. Just get divorced. Do, do, do something. Uh, she's an idiot. Just stop cranking out the kids, please. All you nut jobs, just go ahead and be nuts. I'm sorry for what happened to you when you were young. I'm sorry about the molestation and the wholesale abuse. Stop cranking out the kids and then go lead your nutty life. I I, <clears throat> I can't talk to her anymore. I don't know control? what's going on. Please, Leanne Tweed in here tonight. We'll uh, take a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey everyone, it's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight on the cover of uh, F H M. Looking very good. Putting a bra back together. And uh, a <laughs> lot of lot of guys, a lot of uh, what I like to call sploozers out front. Well, they're still out there. Uh, well, they were out there getting uh, getting her to sign the magazine. Yeah. If you want fans, get yourself on the cover of a gentleman's magazine. Because yeah. uh, you will be signing those things. I, I'm not sure how the math works. I do know you could uh, win the uh, Nobel Peace Prize. You would not get anyone <laughs> asking you to sign anything. Uh, They're not so recognizable, I think. <laughs> well, even if you're a female celebrity or male celebrity, we've had plenty of big you know, rock star types in here. No, no one wants them signing anything. But right. if you're a, a woman who has made it to the cover of uh, one of the magazines. Men's magazines. Yeah. Men's magazines. There's a line of guys who need you to sign them, and I'm not sure. There, if the, I'm not, sh I, I, there's a market for it or something. I'm not sure how it works. I don't know. Do what do you, what do you think about that? Well, these guys are most of them I'm, own like magazine shops and things, and, yeah. they, and they sell these. Sure, things, so they do. There, there are it. a lot of like autograph hounds, yeah. but what about the people that just want you to sign something? Don't you think that's just a? Is it to be? I, I met is. Leanne. She yeah. it was personal moment. She signed my magazine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. Kind of like oh, I don't know, I, but men aren't that interested in all that. You know what I mean? That doesn't mm, fit. What about your buddy Mark who comes in there, bugs every uh, hot chick that comes into the yeah. studio? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? Is yeah. that who greeted me in the parking lot? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm no. Kidding. You would have known. He was in the bushes <laughs> masturbating. No. You didn't see him. Believe oh. me. Blending right in. <laughs> yeah. That, but it's sort of, it's sort of, he was it, a you know, it is. In Vietnam. Guys use that to sort of uh, get distinction no, against no, these with guys, other guys. These guys do this it's for a, a business. Thing, yeah. Right. Now, there's a business yes, ab about there this. Is. It's the same guys every time. Yeah. Uh, I understand beautiful women always, uh, always sells uh, more product than uh, fat guys, but. <laughs> I, it's weird. There's something. But I there's think something some guys get a sort of a, a thing out of uh, being having met and having some proof of the meeting. Yes. With some of those like they're, they're, I agree. Their or a photo or, like, no, or yeah. a thing. You know. Sure, they sell it. No, I know those guys. But you're asking Mark and uh, no, the other oh, guys. No, they, those are your nutball friends. But yeah, I'm talking about the guys who wait out front of this studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they the, sell. Uh, yeah, they will. They own a lot of them own magazine shops. Spluzer. What is and Spluzer eBay again, Drew? Spaz meets loser. That's right. Part spaz. It's hard to tell. More spaz more than loser? More spaz. About fit. Ah, more spaz. I think a sploozer's pretty good. All right, anyway. It's always great when I have to leave and they have to uh, remind me that I call them sploozers. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Uh, big fans, though. Well, uh, Drew. What you, oh, you know what, Drew? Yeah. Let's take a call and then I, then I got no, a question No, let's bring up something you. organic. I got a question for you. Samantha? Yes? You're 23? Yes. What's up? Um, well, I had a physical exam, and they ran a lot of tests, and one of them was a herpes test, and I was expecting to have herpes type 1 because I get cold sores a lot, but she told me I was negative for herpes type 1, and I had herpes type 2, 
and for some reason um, my outbreaks are only in my mouth currently, but I want to know if I'm like prone at any moment to suddenly break out in genital No, here, here's the deal. First of all, I think the blood tests on, of herpes are relatively worthless. Mm -hmm. okay. They're not pretty good. Secondly, the type of herpes you get is irrelevant. You can get two on your mouth, you can get one on your genitalia. Mm -hmm. That distinction between one being mouth and two being genitalia is simply not true. Yeah, who made that up? That, at one time, that's sort of predominantly what was going around, well, but then the people started... Between, what's the difference between one and two? Two is a little more intense. It's a little more severe kind of infection. Mm -hmm. But don't they say herpes do not go away? You never get rid of them? You, never get you rid can of them. suppress them, but they're right. always in but, your but, system? But all types, whether it's one or two. It right. is two is a little more intense, the particular initial outbreak. As, I remember there was a... A national board question when I was a resident that uh, had it that there was about a 20% incidence of meningitis in the initial outbreak of genital herpes type 2. Mm -hmm. But you can get that in your mouth just as readily as on your as on your genitalia. And people put their mouths in interesting places, and that's how you get it. Mm -hmm. okay. There you so go. So did she get herpes from having sex? Samantha? That's only she'll tell um, us that. No, I'm not sure how I got it. I've had cold sores for a long time. I've only had one partner. We're now married. He's only had me. He doesn't have it. What's going on over there? Too, so I don't know. He doesn't have it at all. Um, he has herpes type one, so I guess. The, the test. Don't forget about those tests. You, yeah. you really he does have you herpes, have. and you have herpes yeah, too. Because you, you could have gotten have it from him. Yeah. yeah. Or well, him from you. Wow. Be better if, like, next time I have a cold sore to have them check. Culture the it. Sore out. What if you want to culture it? Yeah, you can't. Oh, but who cares, yeah, Samantha? What's the big deal? You're married. You're married. Who cares? Covered with herpes. God willing, your kids will have herpes. Be fancy well, if the they both family. have their first-time partners for each other, then how, do, how does herpes Herpes 1 is just the environment. Pretty much everybody gets that okay. on, their, on their mouth anyway. It's very, very common. And you can get that transmitted if you have an outbreak and have oral sex and be transmitted to your genitalia pretty easily. Right. Samantha. But, yes. You're fine, baby doll. You're calling from Simi Valley. What's your... Uh, what's the your craziness old? about herpes. People freak out about the labels. Right. You know, and here's a situation where it makes no difference to them right. from a health standpoint. It's already... Yeah. yeah. What's your old man do? Is he a cop? Fireman? What's he do? No, he works for Countrywide. Mm. Countrywide. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do my mortgage. They make a great I lemonade. Do. Oh, they see. <laughs> All right, Doctor Drew and mine's mortgage. Samantha and Adam's lemonade. Let me tell you how rich I am. I don't know who does my mortgages. <laughs> You're literally a millionaire. <laughs> literally, <laughs> yes, <laughs> How does it feel? Literally. Where's my top okay, hat? Okay, Thurston Howell. Where's <laughs> is my top hat and cane here? No. Okay. <laughs> Why do you look famous for that? I don't even think you have one, Adam. <laughs> How dare you? I have one, and it, it, I scrunch it every once in a while, and then pop, pop it up before pop. I do a big number. Drew, do, let's do, talk do, Nuva do, Ring do, do. for oh, just Nuva. a moment. How organic. You should Gosh. bring that up. Yeah. Adam, what you know, I've been doing some so reading clever. on it. How, I've heard talk, but I know there's a lot of controversy. You know, maybe you could sort of uh, clear the uh, Nuva Ring fog. Right. We had a what Nuva is, Ring what is, the is, this, is this contraceptive ring that gets inserted into the vagina and it stays there for about three weeks and you take it out then you mm -hmm. bleed and then you put it back in for three weeks the question that somebody had fell off the line wanted to ask whether or not uh, if they had sex during that first week if they were adequately covered with for contraception the first week of the nuva ring after you put it in it, you are actually not covered for that first week the very first time you what, put it, it in. what what about if she was on the pill before then and then switched to that type of contraceptive it's an interesting question. The, you know, the, it takes about seven days for the hormone to kind of reach a peak level. Okay, so I, be basically like almost she wasn't taking anything for almost, seven days. Almost, So just don't risk it. Uh, wear a condom. Yeah, wear a condom. Ab abstain. Wear a condom. No, don't abstain. Wear a condom the first time. How dare hey. you? Hey! <laughs> I like yeah. you, Dr. Drew. Oh, passionate man. And, passionate man. And, uh, passionate. <laughs> Go ahead. Say it again. Passion. Thank you. Uh, hey, don't look out. at him like that. You kind of got that sparkle in your eye. No, it's scared weird. Me it's, for it, a gets weird. it gets weird in the bathroom. I, I can recognize passion. I just can't contain it. Oh, That's God. the problem. His, his passion is uh, like a bear that gets a loose in a campsite. <laughs> really, only one way to stop it, and that's the ranger's gun. It's a high-powered rifle. Those, those, those uh, hypodermic darts. Oh, darts come on. Don't, those don't six hunters just got Although, killed in the woods today, and that, you're talking about that. that was, really? That was yeah, bad. in Wisconsin. A bear? Nobody misses no, more news a stories. A hunter guy shot the rest of these hunters because oh, nice. he was in their tree stand. Yeah, it was crazy. Nobody misses more news stories than Dr. Drew, by no, the way. No, you should catch... Uh, and you, he's you, online you, all the time. I'm surprised he doesn't even yeah, see the... You know, the oh, no, no. No, I, I read the Yahoo headlines. Yeah. Well, true. Do I, have, do, do I have to just go back three or four days to the <laughs> no, there's things I, ones that yes, you missed? I missed. But let me, let me finish the new version. No. Hey, let me just say one the thing. There's a great question with that, which is should that person, that the caller that dropped off the line, had had sex in that first week? And so the question is, should she use emergency contraceptive? 
Mm -hmm. which is an interesting question. And I would say yes, the first week, the first application of the NuvaRing, mm -hmm. if you have an unintended event, I would use them. You should eat the Nuva Ring? No, I would eat the emergency, the Plan B. Okay. Right. You know what I could watch? I could watch a show, an hour-long show, maybe put on uh, Fox Sports West. It's animals being drugged uh, right before they hit the ground. You know when the uh, the polar bear gets hit with the dart and it's sort of, first it's surly. First, first few minutes it's just as good as it ever was. Right. And then that part where it gets pissed off and then it gets, and then it gets, a, little, then it gets yeah. a little dopey and then at a certain point just starts to <laughs> falls over. I could, I could just watch endless cuts of that you all you go through the bear family you go through the moose family the bigger the b bigger the animal the better the tigers and the lions yeah i just need that one part oh you know it's a nice one rhino <laughs> oh, rhino it's, like, it's snorting it's doing its thing and it's that part <laughs> where you see it's like, <laughs> and it just tips over you need like a machine gun just to get the dart to penetrate its skin yeah yeah yeah, yeah they're uh they're awesome yeah, I, I would watch uh, just, and you wouldn't, ha I wouldn't need any narration or anything. Just put some music behind some it. Some background music. It's called Animals Being Drugged. And uh, it's also nice when they wake up, too. That's the other one, too. Well, they have, like, they have all kinds of weird reactions. People scatter. Yeah. 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 And their I tongue's like always one. hanging yeah. out, and they're trying to keep their tongue from, right. like, swallowing their own tongue, and then as they're coming to and their eyes. They're kicking are... and bucking, and they're, yeah. they're sh just shaking and seizing. Yes. And... Yeah. Awesome. Right. Come on. Th come on. If anyone's listening, let's get that going. David Adam Greer. Pilot. Oh, what? Who? David Allen Greer. He could host, or we drug him. Yeah, shoot him. I love David Allen Greer. No, he's a good, good guy, but it'd be funny. funny to see him get that darted would be funny. and see him come back. All right, where are we going here, Drew? Adam. Really? 22. No, no. What about Germany or Florida? All right. All right. You've decided that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Anthony, well, don't give me search. Uh, we, we haven't played Germany or Florida yet. <laughs> no, you know, we have to play it twice a night. <laughs> it's already, already in the second hour. Anthony? Yeah. Leanne's a very competitive You're woman. right. She needs to come back. Yeah. Anthony. Yeah. All right. You have the story for us? Yes. We hear the bizarre story, Leanne, and then we decide. Is it Germany or Florida? Go ahead, Anthony. Things are sick and twisted. This is our theme Cuba, song. And Nazis. No, Sex, no math, and fetishes. Spare. Both of them have got these. Guaranteed not to bore you, Germany or Florida. Go right you, you ahead. You hear how he cracks his own crap up by the end of that, that could song? Have been me, like, could have no, been me. No, no. He's, he's sort of smiling by the end of the song in well, both versions. When you got it. True. Yeah, he's got it. That kid's got it. Go ahead, Anthony. Okay. It appeared that a mystery attacker may have had some sort of for foot fetish when he stopped a woman on the street to sniff her shoe and lick her foot. The woman claims she was walking around in the town square when a man grabbed her leg, fell to the ground, and began sniffing her shoe. The publicity mm. surrounding this latest attack reportedly encouraged another victim to come forward. All right. Mm -hmm. Stop. Say no more. Right. Say right. no more. No, no, Where no, is he reading these from? Don't say anything. Right. Let, you know what oh. I said? We need to write them down. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's what we need to do. Wait, Pat. All right, Drew, you want me to write your answer for you? Yes, go ahead. All right. Because we're going to have the same answer. Yeah. Well, what, what, what am I writing? Germany or Florida. Uh, Is it Germany or Florida? Weird things happen. Weird stories emerge only from Germany and Florida, or predominantly Germany and Florida. That's right, Drew. Don't let me look. All right. All right, we got our answers. <clears throat> All right. Now, okay. should we have him give the answer and then we'll uh, turn ours over? Why don't we do that? Uh, we'll That'd be more, that way. more okay. exciting that way. I know good radio. And, th and this <laughs> isn't it. Build a it up, Adam. Anthony? Yeah. Later on, I may back sell a song it's or back something. Back to those passion issues. Anthony, give us the answer. Germany or Florida? It's Germany. Germany. Uh, yeah. I got bam. Germany. 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 All three of us. Yeah. Well, there you go. Anthony. There's some weird yeah. sexual people in Germany. Ooh, yeah. Now, now see, there you go. There's a difference. And there's something about Germany them actually, that, that, that idea of him actually getting down in the public. Mm -hmm. uh, Not uh, caring uh, and just doing that. In the that. public uh, square, getting on the ground and looking afoot. But don't you think that's part of his fetish? Yes, yes. Doing it no, in, I'm, I'm you know, no, it's yeah. not only I'm that he has a foot fetish, but he wants to do it in a public but place with people watching. that was a sure. Germanic feel to it. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was the, the Nazi, the Nazi, uh, <laughs> sure. fem, uh, femme Nazi with the heel, you know, the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. True. Can we get past the little uh, hiccup known as the Holocaust already? <laughs> no. Please. It's been a few years now. Come on, relax. Let's just move on. Hey, there's some All people right, out there that don't believe it even happened. Yeah. Come on. Anybody can mess up once or twice. That's gone. All right? Yeah. Or should we bomb them again? I'd be for bombing them one more time. Uh, let's uh, let's hop back to the phones and uh, wow, everyone took Germany yeah. there. Very nice. <laughs> Talk to uh, Adam, who's uh, 22. Adam. Yeah. What's up? Uh, I want to know how does it feel to be in the presence of a real waffle crapper right now? Yeah, that is uh, how Leanne. How did we know that everyone. was going to come up, Doctor Drew? I, I warned Leanne that. Uh, that was a term she would hear tonight, undoubtedly. We, 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 uh, we had an interesting discussion last night 
Uh, I think we were talking about hot chicks, and uh, you were ta Here's what happened. I here's tried what to, happened. Is, yeah, Adam, we were talking about a woman called and said that uh, her boyfriend lost erection in a certain position. Adam goes, "Oh, it's doggy, it's doggy." And I, "Why doggy?" Ah, he gets a whiff of ass, right? right? Well, that's yes. what you said. It's, yeah. And I said, "Look, that that doesn't make sense to me because if she were really hot, he'd he'd get right through that." Right. And then you went on to say, "Well, look, if if it was Claudia Schiffer, you you'd have her." crap on your waffle in breakfast time. Yeah, something, true. No, something no, like that. <laughs> Drew, what do you do for a living? What goes something on? of that. I don't remember how you transitioned from... Ah, you know you know what, Drew? You were going good with that story, too. Yeah, and then you right, got well, in your head. Here's you heard your own voice, right. and you, and you well, lost your Actually, stumble. I was looking at you, kind of closed your eyes and pulled no, back. No, why? <laughs> because I said, uh, Drew, finish. Yeah. I'm not I'm, right. I'm not. Here's the deal. finish the, this. The fact is, though... I know you wait for me to finish, but I'm not doing it Here's the deal. So, then the next call was a woman who was sort of whiny and Adam said, you're a hot girl, I know you're a hot chick. And, uh, and I said, well, you know, certainly somebody should have called you a waffle crapper at one time in your life. Right. That right. was where the term stuck. Right. All right. Now, I could go back. I don't back. like that word. Now, I could go back and fix that story, but I, I don't have the energy. But uh, it just means hot chick. Yeah. We've, we've decided. It was funny last night. Right. Right. Well, thank you. It happened last night. I time, guess. <laughs> yeah. It was, or, it was organic. Uh, Adam? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 torn, I'm torn between Go back. going back Come on, I, I want to hear, I can't, I can't or, fix because I can't remember the piece that went from where you... Ah, uh, it was just, it's just basically, if a, if a chick is hot, uh, she could, you know, crap, on your, crap on your waffle in yeah. the morning right. and you'd be begging for more. Right. And you, there's nothing grotesque. It's hard to be nothing grossed out do. by a super hot chick. Right. Whereas when they're not, it's much easier to be grossed out. By America's <laughs> next waffle crapper. Yeah. That was uh, mm. Will Arnett. Okay. Will Arnett in last night. Anyway, but believe me, you're you're in rarefied waffle crapping air. <laughs> we don't have many on this show. Yes, Drew. Yes, Adam. All right. Adam? Rarefied. Rarefied. Will wasn't a crapper. <laughs> Will Arnett. It was, it was a good. It was a nice looking gent, but I don't know if guys can even qualify. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh ew. Oh no no no. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Adam. What the about what look. about four other guys? I mean, like, what if you're gay? Would uh, oh. you know Mark Anthony be a, a waffle crapper? And by oh, the way, him? Oh. This guy, that's the whole thank point. You, thank that's, you. That's the whole like, point. Because guys can something. get through it. Let me say something. Let me just tell everyone, Pat O'Brien, uh, specifically. Uh, just because you're skinny and you're Mexican, and you can sing, doesn't make you a heartthrob. Thank you. Uh, I, I, mm -mm. There's some old oh, Latin crooner heartthrob. Uh, Mark Ooh. Anthony reminds me of like a Mexican skeleton. He kinda, well, he kind of looks like a little rat or something. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I agree with you. I, 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 personally, I do not find him I, I, uh, attractive. I, I, uh, and uh, and that song, that hit of his, <laughs> What's blows such colossal ass. Well, first off, yeah, does he have a hit? <laughs> what? Here's, I just, I gotta figure out something. He's never coming on the show. I say what I want, but how do some people get to be like international superstars and international heartthrobs and oh, this guy? Like, look, um, Enrique Iglesias. I get it. He's nice looking. Although I'm not, I'm not sure about the singing part, but he's he's a right. great looking guy. He's got a package. I mean, he, it's all together. It's all there. He's yeah. got a beautiful basket. He's got a beautiful package. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. He's got a lovely, lovely uh, load in his pants. No, I, that's no, not I agree. What I Real mean. waffle crapping material. I agree with Leanne. I don't stare at the groin like Leanne, but I understand. No, I mean, package like you know, he's not a great singer, but he's a good looking guy. He dresses right. He does the right videos. He's got the yes. girlfriend. I mean, so you know what I mean? It's the whole package. He's right. looking at the package. Yes. Yeah. Mark Anthony. I don't understand that part, but he gets hotty after hottie and a celebrity after celebrity and what's uh, a skeleton guy well you're right his kind Is of facial some, he, that, he did you remember the, like, uh, the the uh, cartoon no. uh, he man used to fight skeletor no he has oh, the, true. the skeleton that quite even has his, just I if i say I something assume, assume other people know it even Chris knows Skeletor. Yeah. Chris, watch you do? He Man. Yeah, look yeah. it up. I want to see Skeletor. He Man and, yeah. Chris, and, and, up, and the power of the universe or whatever. Do you he realize that you two know the, the, the exact opposite things? Yes. Like whatever Chris knows, you I don't, don't know. know, and vice versa. Yes. Although luckily it's, it's not an that much. Interesting cultural yes. thing, don't you think? Yeah, it's interesting unless you're sitting in between the, uh, <laughs> in the chasm of tards. Yes. No. Yeah. What? Huh? All right. Here Let's. Uh, where are we? Talking to Melissa. What is the name of that song? His that blows so much ass. By the way, Mark Anthony. God, does that song blow? And okay, F Chris, find After out Skeletor, that. After Skeletor, oh, 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 Mark I... Anthony song. It's a slow song. Oh, uh, 
yeah, yeah. There's even talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, you know, I'm yeah, not a singer, yeah, yeah, but no. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you the one You're song. You're better than he is. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I need to know. I need yes, to, I need to know. Yes, me, yes. Little girl. God, does that song blow ass. <laughs> God, does that And song you probably suck. hate it so much because you're probably singing it in your shower when you just no, least expect it. Oh, no, no, no. no, that song sucks. God, does that song <laughs> suck. It blew so badly. Oh, my God. How much Coke is being fed oh, to the hey. program directors? <laughs> well, him too. But how, how much Coke is there going to these idiots that they got to play this garbage and poison everyone's mind? God, did that song blow ass. True. It's unfortunate you don't know the song. I, oh, I, all right, I'm done. Drew, what is it? How does it work? What don't you know? What do you know? Skeletor? Do no you know he's married to J-Lo now? No, oh, good. Oh, he's that one. Good. He's, he's a hot <laughs> Latin heartthrob. He's a heartthrob. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you get to be like an international record superstar and have one crappy song? Do you, yeah, but I think the rest of his hits internationally are all... All right. In Espanol. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're not impressed by the man. No. Please. Horrible <laughs> song. Melissa? Yes. 28? By the way, hang on a second, Melissa. Why, why weren't people making more of what Jennifer Lopez did to uh, Ben Affleck? Oh, they're okay. dating. They're engaged. She breaks up and gets married to somebody else two weeks later? Well, that, but I not... think they all looked at her and said she's got the problem. <laughs> she's brutal. I mean, that yeah. is brutality. Yeah, well, Melissa, I think it's brutal, care. but I think it's also self-worth issues with her, don't you think? Yeah. Well, well she has to be with a bad guy. Right. Has well, to be with a bad guy. I mean, and but then, but think the brutality of that kind of behavior towards somebody who actually was trying to have a relationship with her. Right. Well, and no one, no one discusses that. What, what is that? And Ben's Poor a guys, nice guy. Uh, I hope he's yeah, he's good people. Right. Now he's going out with Jennifer Garner. Drown his sorrows in that uh, pig, Jennifer Garner. It's got to be rough. Uh, tough. They, they kind of, yeah, it's got to be work. tough. That's Talk about it. I think it will too. Crap, she's beautiful, right? and she's from the country. She's, yeah. I think she's from West Virginia. Yeah, waffle for cramp and material. Mm -hmm. Waffle crapper. Yeah, definitely. Melissa. Yes. You're uh, 28. Mm-hmm. Uh, so your boyfriend does speed. Yeah, he does speed. Um, he didn't used to, but as our relationship progressed... He wasn't born doing speed? He, he yeah. didn't used to do speed, but... Like now he does speed lots. Or he does a lot of speed now. All right. Yeah. He swears that he doesn't, but um, yeah. I noticed all these sores mm -hmm. over all over him. Yeah, like, people mm -hmm. that do speed get something called a picker syndrome. They start believing that there's something under the skin, a bug or a piece of glass, and they start picking and picking and picking. They erode their skin and cause ulcers all over the place, face, arms, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what he's got. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically. Okay, well, I I don't do speed. Um, and when we have sex, we've been together for like 10 years, I've noticed now that I'm starting to get them, and I was wondering, is there a possibility from having sex with him without a condom that I could be getting the same thing? You're getting ulcers where? Like on my face and on my arms, but not bad, but just enough to where I know they're not normal. And you're not. And you're definitely not doing drugs. You're not doing mm -hmm. cocaine. I uh, know I I have a heart murmur. I have born with mitral valve prolapse. No, I can't do that. Yeah, you know, mitral valve prolapse is something that most women your age have. You realize? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can do some. It's blood. a very common thing. There's giving you the green light but to do be the that. Be game. that as it may. But it's fear weird that she takes a very common thing. Well, oh, I got uh, something's going on yeah. with Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. Let's forget about your skin for a second. Talk about your brain. You've been with this guy for ten years. Mm-hmm. You're Severe not. You're not married. No, not yet. And he's a severe amphetamine addict. Do you want to do something about yeah, that? Who's lying well, to you? The, well, yeah. Well, I kept on confronting him, and he swore up and down, no, 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 no. And then one of his friends came and told me, oh, yes, he is. Okay, so and, what, what's going on you with you? know if you're with a speed addict. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, it's except, not like they can... Except if your dad was an alcoholic addict, and you mm -hmm. sort of come to expect that kind of mm -hmm. thing. So, Melissa, what about um, your dad? What about my dad? Mm-hmm. Well, um, basically, he was an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. All right. Fantastic. Was he an alcoholic? No. Not as he far as I know. He didn't do drugs? Drugs? Um, I don't know, because it was my mom. They got divorced when I was really young. All, All I right. know is I never saw him very much. But All right. he did leave me at the treasury once and took off and moved away. All right. Hold on. The treasury? He left you at the treasury? He just left you in a public place and took off? What's the treasury? It used to be um, kind of like a Kmart. Huh. 
Okay. Gotcha. Treasury. It's just kind of okay. left you in Walmart and Pe- took off. People, uh, by the way, never get tired of u- using a local landmark yeah. <laughs> on the show who call from distant places. It, it never, it yeah. never gets tiring. Uh, I, I don't know how that, uh, how that works, but it's like, oh no, I, he, where's he work? It's a Quigley's. <laughs> The Quigley the, the, Joe's. Quigley? Quigley Joe's? No, nothing. Yeah, no. Over on uh, home, West Point Street? Yeah. Home of the, uh, home of the uh, bottomless uh, Pepsi trough? No? <laughs> nothing? He says they're calling well, they from didn't, they didn't New give Brunswick. You that. They're like, there's oh, yeah. on to the next thing. Yeah, they're yeah, on to the next so. All right, he left you at the Treasury. I thought he was like, I thought he worked for the Mint or something. Like he was oh, in nice. D.C. Yeah. All right, we're so next to uh, he, Alexander he, Hamilton statue. He, he left you. Okay, he's a bad guy. He seems like maybe you got a bad guy. Ten years with the same guy. You, you say, uh, I asked you, uh, why haven't you been married or you're not married? And you said, not yet. You've been with the guy for ten years. Do you uh, do you think you're going to get married? And uh, why would you want to get married? Well, this is the thing. I have a very, I have a fear of intimacy. Because yeah. a, a what? Fear of intimacy. Fear. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, because every guy that I ever ran up against to, I don't have much. Y- y- you've been with this guy since you were 18. 18, yeah. You've been with this guy since you are senior in high school. What, what are you talking about? You're almost 30. What's every guy you've been up against to, as you say? Yeah. Well, like my dad. Yeah, you know, that's right. He, like, he abandoned me. Yeah, yeah right. but why would you cling to a guy man? that's uh, severe amphetamine addict lying to you? And by well, the way, just to answer your question. When I first met him, as far as I know, he wasn't doing this. All right. As far it's, as it's, it's, it's therefore, it's yeah, therefore yeah. excuse the last yeah, nine years. You met him in 1981. Well, yeah. That's another life is happening. All right, Melissa, let, let's, let's go, baby. Come on. Okay, you had, a, you had a crappy dad. You and everyone else in America. Move now, on. let's go. Let's get it Move together. On for you. Melissa, here's yeah. the one thing. Take just to answer your you. question. The one thing you could get from him that can cause little, uh, little uh, ulcers like that would be scabies. And he yeah. is an addict, so he would be a risk for scabies. Uh, he probably is, does not. It's probably merely a picker syndrome. And uh, God knows living around somebody like that can make you anxious enough to start picking All it right, yourself. let's go. It's 10 years. You let's wasted 10 years. Let's break it down. Let's go. Let's break go yourself pay. free. You're not a junkie. Your dad's an a-hole. So now move on. Let's go. Get some therapy. Dump this guy and move on. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Leanne Tweed is here. We'll take a real uh, world-class waffle crapper. We'll take ourselves a... Uh, Maybe the uh, the crappiest of the waffle crappers. Oh, no, the wafflest of the crap and waffles. <laughs> All right, we'll work that out, Drew. I know it doesn't sound good, but it is. Take a quick break. Be right back after this. Hey, everybody. It's the Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Leanne Tweeden is uh, here tonight. You can see her on Best Dance Sports Show, period. Also, you can find her on the cover of uh, this month's FHM Magazine. Actually, wow. December FHM Magazine, but <laughs> it's out now. And, uh, yeah, the big uh, holiday extravaganza. She's right in the middle there. She's uh, <laughs> prone and uh, poised and looking good in her underpants. <laughs> Some say the bra's coming off. Others say it's going on, Drew. You say it's going on. I say it's going on after a hard night of being off. That's what I'm saying. She's pretty well put together for coming, going back on, as it were. Well, you know, she's uh, hair she's and makeup. An, she's an Uber fox. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uber. Take, well, right. we're on that German kick. Yeah. Germanic. Yeah. Uber. Kick. Uber fox. Uber. That's a uh, waffle crapper. Yeah. yeah, waffle crapper. I like Uber fox though better. It mm. sounds better. Doesn't have the. Uh, Doesn't roll off the tongue quite like mm. waffle crapper. I don't know. Say it with a German accent. I think you'll learn to appreciate it. When did Avril Lavigne become a heroin addict? I don't know. Look at that. Avril Lavigne, she's, 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 uh, come on, she's edgy. Come on. She's punk, Drew. Yeah. Drew. She, she has that teen angst. Drew's pointing at a picture in a magazine, by the way, if uh, anyone wants to know what he's doing. Why does everyone have teen angst? Why is everyone so angry when life is so good, oh. Dr. Drew? Why oh, is that? Because we all... Self-worth? No, because we all didn't, weren't endowed with the same privileges that you and adolescents were endowed with. Adam and I had misery during adolescence. No, but misery. I mean, why, why, why do people that have everything in the world, why are they so I miserable? You yeah. mean adults? Yeah, or, or people because, that have success, because, you know, people I mean, that have like, money, yeah. and they have everything at the, the world at their feet, because, and they're still angry. It, they're st- it's like taking your brain and putting it in any other environment. If your brain is not healthy... You can take it to St. Louis or Pasadena. You're still gonna, you're still gonna be depressed. You're still gonna have trouble with your relationships, and ultimately, really, it's all about the interpersonal experience. Right. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, it's the capacity to experience yourself and other people fully. That's why I got TiVo. And that's what a lot of people don't do. They can't do it because of trauma, and neglect, and distrust. And, right. Yeah. And ruptures, yeah. and so it's, it's but, a lifelong but, thing to work on, huh? Mm-hmm. 
True. You <laughs> you help. you look at people as receptacles for your passion. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. You don't your you boy? don't see them. You just see them as walking empty passion buckets but once you receive your passion. He better. He does. That's why I like Dr. Drew. Yeah. I admire him. He's a very smart man. Yeah, the more you know, the less impressed you are. <laughs> I don't know. It's my third time man. on this show, and I love him more and more. See? It's Told so, you. Must there's, be there's, so there's, nice. there's, an, there's an optimal range. It must you know be so I mean? nice. Good yeah. Good yeah. Wait, you start going on the other side of the mountain. Yeah. You have to deal with the fact <laughs> that I am gay. I went down that about <laughs> six years ago. Still free-falling, by the way. Rose? Yes? Yeah. I'm going to talk to you because you've been on hold for 113 oh, minutes. Sorry, Rose. Yeah. The world's greatest doctor didn't want to talk to you. He didn't deem your problem as important. As you remember, do. Rose, like it in tonight, take some codeine, smoke a little heroin. All right, as you please. remember, Rose, we were going to your call about an hour ago, but Corolla suddenly took a sidetrack to something else. G Germany, got, Florida. Germany, or Florida. He got, he, got yeah. you know, he got sort of distracted. Sorry, Rose. Listen, I'm... No, I'm, uh, I'm and now you're putting her back on hold. No, because oh. I'm required by the FCC to play <laughs> Germany or Florida every 20-minute break. <laughs> like, i got to give the call letters out. You understand? We could get into trouble. We could lose uh, our license. We have a point. Hey, All right. I know. All right. Shh. Rose? Yes, I'm here. All right, so you're 20, you haven't had your period in uh, two years, and mm. now make it two and a half years because you've been on hold for six months. <laughs> yeah, basically. Are you, a, are you a ballerina or a dancer? Uh, no, well, I used to dance, like, just when I was younger, but I seriously had my first period when I was 10, and seriously, it's been so sporadic, like, every couple of years. All right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now the fact that you're right kidding 10, about it. The, the sort of weight threshold for menses is about 110 pounds. So a 10-year-old mm -hmm. at 110 pounds means you're a pretty good size, right? Mm. I don't think I was that big when I was 10. I don't quite remember, but... Well, and so, 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 Drew, is it... I mean, it's about age, but it's also... You just can't the, have one at 80 pounds? Right. The ten, well, it tends to be at certain age ranges of, of weight threshold. And and the other thing that... So me, my thinking starts going, well, maybe... Are you overweight now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, because when you're when you're fat, it can cause anovulatory cycles. It can you know, the adipose tissue produces estrogen and it, and it suppresses the ovulation, and so you mm. can be, and also can be so heavy can be associated heavy with heavy and thin. Poly, no, she's heavy. No, no, I know she's not. Oh, both. thin, thin. <laughs> <laughs> Her right side's more of a little piece, but left side, real waffle crapper. You gotta, oh, I hope that's yeah. the side you get on but, a Saturday the, night. But the other thing, Rose, no, is if that you're the, if you're very skinny, right, like you a ballerina. That's why I ask right, a lot of ballerinas so don't have their right. periods for eating years disorder, or haven't had it for years. Eating disorder ballerinas getting you right. below that 110 pound threshold yeah. sometimes right. because the body tries to conserve itself. But the other thing, Rose, is that overweight is also suggestive of polycystic ovarian disease. Mm. So is anybody well, look um, overweight? Yeah. What does your doctor say? Well, seriously, like I've had so many tests. I'm, I've had some something wrong, possibly with my pituitary gland, or the endocrine no, no, no. system. Relax, like, relax. Boy, people they 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 love making a drama out of this. It, it <laughs> means your hypothalamic pituitary axis doesn't cycle normally. That's what they're mm -hmm. telling you. It does not. It's sort of rhythmicity is off a little bit, which is a very common thing. But I bet you, uh, some of it has to be due to the ad the, the adipose tissue, the fat tissue producing estrogen and suppressing ovulation. And I would look okay, into the question of polycystic ovary. I would lose weight and get some exercise going and see if your periods don't retain re return a little okay. bit. What? Uh, what? Uh, how much you weigh in, Rose? I'm I'm five foot and I'm 180. Five foot, 180. Mm. All right. I was going to do the radio math, but uh, I'll go. I'll it's go done. with you on that. That's no. Uh, <laughs> first <laughs> off. It's it's uh it's your uh, folks pro it's their fault for naming you Rose. That's a heavy set name. Oh well, honey, I'm second only to uh, <laughs> Oh, it isn't. What's the real one, Delia? Because that's the no. heavier name. <laughs> no, my name is Teenie. I don't think you can possibly classify it. And since it is so what unique, is it? I... what was that? Jeannie? <laughs> no. Okay, what? but anyways, I'm. Well, well, wait, 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 what is your you what, is your, what is your real name? I'm not gonna say it on the radio. Well, then I'll, but because we we have to decide whether it's a fat name or not. Decide what kind of diet to put you on an exercise program. Oh my god! Based on your name, it but was listen, genius. If, if if you know Renee is a husky name, that's a different. If you're a dude named Renee, you're fat. That's a that's a tough name. I, I that's think a of thin name. French smoker with bad teeth. Renee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's what he'd love you to think, but unfortunately, he's got a weight problem. What's the husky be? Teresa? No. No. Now, Teresa, I, okay, I, I'll, I'll tell you. Tammy, oh, God. Tammy can be a healthy. Uh, Tammy can go either way. Cammy can, Cammy can be a either can be way. a fat chick, but healthy. she puts out, so it sort of evens out. Uh. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's get back to Rose. Rose. Okay, but since uh, the uh, irregular ovulations aside, I was wondering, like I've only had a couple partners, and I've used condoms. I've had them wear condoms every time. But I'm mm -hmm. wondering if, like, I was with somebody for a long time, and we were both tested. We don't have any STDs. 
what would be the possibility or the probability of me getting pregnant without a condom or without um you still you still should consider yourself fertile yes you don't know when you're going to ovulate you can't predict that hey uh rose okay Uh uh-huh so uh how about some diet and some exercise there you go all right. Yeah. yeah. That's it, Adam. All it's right, done. baby doll. Done. What, what done. else are you doing? You're going to be a nurse? <laughs> no, I'm actually a college student. I'm majoring in business. There's quite a few things I could go into, but not a nurse right. isn't one of them. You see right. Riverside? Yes. All right. Yeah. You get your MBA, and then it's payback time for the Jets. Oh, yes. Oh, didn't didn't want to go to the prom, huh? All right. You're fired. <laughs> Take that. Knock, knock. Yeah. Who's there? You're fired. That's right. All right. Now, where were we, Drew? Talking to Brad. Oh, it's tough when you're short and you're thick. And I hear these commercials for, like, these diet pills, and they're like, uh, when dieting and exercise aren't enough. It's oh. like, what, what do you mean? We're not, uh, uh, look, I guarantee uh, we'll get the weight off with diet, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, exercise. what about the one that's like, this isn't for just the slightly overweight Oh, I mean, yeah. like, that's going to hook everyone. No, no. This they, is only for the severely oh, overweight, right. obese people I love out that. there. I love that. I'm yeah. like, come on. I love that guy. Like, look, uh, I'm Dr. Cinnamon. Uh, if you're, if you're just slightly five overweight. Five or ten pounds, uh, no offense, you. but this isn't for you. <laughs> yeah, that I love that scam. I like that one, too. Like, uh, look, I got a money-making opportunity. If you're only interested in making a couple hundred bucks a week, please talk to somebody else. Don't waste my time. If you're interested in making millions of dollars a year, I'm then we man. can talk. But please be up front with me. Tell me, do you just want to make like 85 bucks a month? Because if you do, there's other places you go. I'm trying to be respectful. My program, you make you make hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Yeah. With, we only really want serious. Yeah, serious and, and, and with my program, you lose. Yeah. The, the pounds melt away. You're not interested in that, are you? just right. want to lose four or five pounds, right? You'd be a trillionaire if you yeah, created like the that. pill that just melted fat away from people. Yeah, but by the come way, uh, you do nothing but eat grapefruits and uh, run 20 miles a day. The, the weight's going to come off. Oh, eventually, yeah. eventually, it's going to come off. Did you see the show The Big Loser? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I, I saw, never saw it either, but it was I heard, good. I heard about it. I, I saw, it was good. I, saw I was little, shocked. I saw bits and pieces of it, and here's a problem. The beginning was good anyway. Here's a problem I had. Uh, the guys, before they got on the scale... I mean, they're like fighters going in, going into the weigh-in. They, 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 they got, they, they got did down. it up. Yeah, they, they did it No, up. they got down to the the shorts oh. and the underpants. Oh, yeah, it was disgusting. Seeing Very. a lot of man boob. Yeah. And 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 when you're a guy and you were formerly a uh, 395 and you're da- now down to a svelte two two ninety five three ten, uh, you got some man boob at you. Yeah. And a little excess skin hanging out. You're, you're packing a C cup. And you, you got this weird, there's a weird thing that the guys have where the nipple sticks straight out, like someone just, uh, put, you know, taped a coaster to them. Like, like a, the nipple doesn't, like on a woman, the nipple is sort of head down through. a little bit. Yeah. This is weird because there's a fat deposit and then the nipple's like up top. Anyway, I was staring at miles of man boob. And I first off, I thought, and I never had this, could I please see some sack to cleanse my palate? Please, I need to see sack. That's the sorbet on my palate. I've been looking at man boob for two hours. Uh, I actually looked at my own, I looked at my own oh, uh, sack. Miles there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It worked. Yeah. No, I pulled it up over my head. I didn't actually look down. I Sling it over your shoulder. Slung it over, and then pow, right over the head. I can see light coming through it, actually. And the point is, is... <laughs> What you know? We're you know it's all this FCC you know nonsense. But really, it's okay to look at just sort of morbidly obese, sort of grotesque man. You know, nothing but stretch marks and man boob. Uh, by the way, uh, we you can't show a drawing of a chick. You know what? They, they had the good sense. You can't see a drawing yeah. of the nipples right. without tiling them out. What what's right. going on? <laughs> right. Look, either something's offensive or it isn't. Right. Aren't we at yes. that point? And they they had the good sense of having attractive heavy women. The women yeah. were somewhat that you were going, hey, you know, if she lost weight, she'd be, yeah. she'd be hot. The guys were just be right. enormous. If, if, if that woman showed a little ass crack, they would have to tile it right out. But meanwhile, acres of man boob, one after the other. And they did all the guys. I was just watching. I was like, the next guy up, next guy up, next guy up. So hundreds of you man boobs. You know, what's boobs. funny. I was on Fox News the other morning, and they did show the magazine, and everything had a little swoosh. Just even L- like over the little crack tile. or just over the little... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though it's not showing anything, yeah. they just do them completely. They're so conservative, they completely just put a little ribbon yeah, it's cover a, uh, over it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. You would think that if, if I was looking at it and didn't know what this magazine was, I'd be like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. She's naked. Yeah. I, I mean, really. Yeah, the imagination <laughs> like, uh, runs wild. Yeah. Yeah. It made it worse. Right. That they, right. It became salacious. Yeah. Right, you know, right. And then it's like, oh, yeah. so naughty. What is that? 
Yeah, we uh, we once uh, many years ago, it seems like a more innocent time for the Man Show, actually confronted the uh, executives of our Comedy Central and asked them how much ass crack could we show, and they got what, together. male or female, male uh. or or female, uh, okay. actually it's both. They went together. They got together. They had a meeting on it. Ass crack they, meeting. They came back and they said, "You can show quarter one of an quarter, inch. one I knew quarter it. of a not a quarter <laughs> inch, oh. quarter of a crack, quarter oh. of a crack." Oh, whoa, that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's full, quite a bit. Full length. Well, let's well, say, let's say, I mean, first off, free, free range crack or union crack. You don't measure the crack <laughs> in square footage. You, merit, you measure it Centimeters. in... Centimeters. No, no. You measure it in lineal foot. Lineal foot. Yeah. Right, yards, right. Yeah. It's just a straight line. Yeah, yeah. And so if the average person has, you know, nine inches or ten inches of ass crack, you could show two three. and a half inches right. or three. or three. Whatever. So yeah. you have to measure that person's or are you going by national it, averages? A quarter of that person's, that person's ass, ass crack. Well, so if, you've, free if you ranging ass crack. Of, if you've yeah. got a ton of crack, uh, you might be able to show three, four feet of it. Oh, nice. Wow. So we worked so it out. Everyone that came on the man show, I did their ass crack measured. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'd actually, mm -hmm. We actually. I worked out something. It's a sort of a variation of what they call the Brannock device. They used to measure feet at the shoe store. Remember that one? This is for it slapped in. Yeah. There was a lawsuit because someone got something pinched. So uh, wait. I so does the FCC send out guidebooks for y'all? Is that actually in there? No. <laughs> no. That's but the problem. We, actually. we immediately <laughs> yeah. invented three-quarter ass shorts. <laughs> And uh, uh, had people wearing the three-quarter ass So it's kind of like girls that wear low-cut pants anyways, right? You kind of sort of, you know, they're so low that you sort of yeah. get that I, top I, part of the cut anyways. I just would like to dis have people decide on what's offensive, not what crosses the sexual level. Uh, you know, right. we can have a Joe Rogan screaming at a guy eating a bunch of Because what offends me might not offend you. That's right. What <laughs> about the atheists <laughs> who don't want to see the man boob, don't want to see the guy burying his face in uh, uh, otter uh, whiz eating a maggot encrusted uh, oh, Rocky Mountain yuck, oysters yuck. with Joe Rogan screaming at them. How about the guy just likes to see a little woman boob? Huh? Hey, the rest about, of the show is right thinking atheist. If we don't break All right, all right, all right. quiet, Anderson. We got to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Get it on, boy. I'll tell you, you got to get it on. Break it down and get it on. Leanne Tweet is here God. tonight. Yeah, she's uh, on the cover of FHM magazine. Ah, it's uh, Uncle getting sex you change. Pick. All right. You let's, pick. Leanne, we got a question for Leanne. We'll take yeah. that, and then we'll do a sex change operation uh, question. Vladimir? Yeah. You're 20? 20, yeah. How's it going, Adam? Just want to say, you know, you're my god among gods, Dr. Drew. You're a passionate, passionate man. Just True. want to say hi to Leanne. And, and coming from a guy named Vladimir. Yeah. yeah, Vlad. I'm sorry, what? Vlad, uh, you a fan of Leanne's? Huge fan. Just thought she's super gorgeous. Thought she's awesome. Sorry, I'm five four three two one, but that show got canceled, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. so, just, so just wondering, what could we expect from you in the future? Um, uh, any new shows or acting? Um, you know, we're working on some stuff. You know, I'm not interested in acting, but we're working on some new stuff over at Fox. We're doing some pre Super Bowl stuff that I'll be doing, and uh, possibly working on another show for the network, actually. A, a sports show that I can't really go into right now, but you know, stuff down the line for sure. But still, a lot of sports and maybe a, a pilot talk television Are you or so next. Uh, saying around the extreme sports or just kind of. I'm a little bit. I'm getting ready to do some with Tony Hawk and the Boom Boom Huck Jam. It'll be a special on Fox that'll air right before the Super Bowl. So yeah, yeah, I'm still thrown around that that circle, and you know, I know all those people and I know all the sports. So definitely, I never stray too far. Vlad, awesome, yeah. Meanwhile, you got the uh, FHM to beat off to. Okay? I'll be uh, definitely checking out the Adam pose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Corolla pose. I it's think a Corolla pardon. pose. It's the one where she has her thumb full under, body. under the you'll side see of her it. panties. It's the yeah. full body turquoise. Turn about four. Well, you know. You'll know Did it. You you'll know it when you pose? see it. Did you do yeah. the Drew pose? Drew, uh, Drew pose. I forgot what that was. <laughs> Drew pose. Wait, hold on. I say it's this one. Hold on. No, that's, 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 feet that's up in the air. fetal position. That one, yes. that's, no. <laughs> it's the one where he's in fetal position, <laughs> begging for his nuts back from his <laughs> See, you all knew before I even showed you. See? Yes. So there you go. Brad? Yeah. Your uh, uncle's getting a sex change operation? Yeah, actually, he is. He's supposed to in about a year. Mm -hmm. in about a year. Uh, all right. We just found out about two weeks ago. He's told great me. news. How, how old is he? He's like uh, 46. All right. What's the question? Got four children. Oof. Mm -hmm. well, uh, well, has your uncle always been different? Yeah, he's always been the black sheep of the family. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears> but, uh, we were, my stepmom was looking on the internet about it. We were trying to find out what the uh, 
what would have caused this psychological problem or whatever to uh, make it Well, all kinds of debate about it. A lot of uh, water under the bridge, though. Uh, I mean, as, as far as, as, far as you go, uh, Brad, you're 16. There's no way you could, you know, chain yourself to a uh, bulldozer in front of the uh, surgeon's office. It's not going to do anything. Right. right. Oh, and he, he, your uncle's going to do what he's going to do. Yeah. For him. And by the way, you know, my thing, I think you would agree on too. Whatever people want to do, great, fantastic. Keep it to yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be it's going to be difficult uh, though on uh, Thanksgiving <clears throat> when you show up looking like a nest. And T yeah. what? No, but I understand right. that it makes it difficult for families to adjust, but it's right. still, it's, it's, it gets broadcasted a lot. People. Yeah, I don't I don't know why you need it's, it. I think because people don't understand it. I don't know it's why scary. why why but why does Brad need a one year heads up on this? Well, don't they have to get hormonally they have to live like, as like a prepare, female. Yeah, yeah, they have to sort of Prepare their you, you bodies, prepare their minds. That the, the knuckle should have alerted everybody when he was going under the knife, and that's I, it? I, I don't know. Here's, <laughs> hey, here's, I got pre-op surgery tomorrow. You know? Here's all I'm saying. As a, a family member, the, the, less t the, the less time this could be rolling around my <laughs> noggin, the better for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like if I found out someone was sick in my family, I'd like them to die the next day. Right. I don't want to live with it for a yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe so, I'd kill them. <laughs> yeah, just put a bullet in. Him. Mercy kill. Kill. No, but it's doesn't not. Work, it doesn't it, work like that. Though. All right, that's that's all I'm saying. For me, if someone said my dad's going to get a sex change right. operation and get made into a man, yeah, you, you want to have to add a penis to him, Drew. <laughs> that would be a sex change operation for my you pussy wanna, dad. You want to enjoy him as a pussy as long as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, we're uh, going to take a uh, look, break, and we'll be right back after this. Leanne Tween for coming in here, dear, dear friend, for uh, stopping by and uh, Thank you guys. doing the Lord's work. God <laughs> bless you, baby doll. FHM, everybody, on newsstands uh, as we speak, and of course, uh, best damn sports show, period. So, until next time, it's Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. This has been Loveline. Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. Or the station. The producer for Loveline is Anne Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.